In this video, we will continue with Chapter 9 on Optimization. Section 9.3 handles higher and second and higher order derivatives. A second order derivative is f double prime x. This means f of x has been differentiated twice. Or in other words, it's the derivative of the derivative. We can also write this as d2y dx squared. This does not mean x squared, but it means the derivative has been taken twice with regards to x. Or it's the derivative of the derivative. We can do this a third time, which would be called the third derivative. So f triple prime x. Or fourth time, f4 of x is the fourth derivative, or n number of times, which is fn of x, which will be the ninth derivative. Here we will mainly focus on the second order derivative. So if we look at the interpretation of f prime of x, or f double prime of x, if f prime of x is larger than 0, the value of the function tends to increase. This means the slope of the function is positive. If f prime of x is less than 0, the value of the function tends to decrease. So note, if we speak of the first order derivative, we speak of the value of the function. If f double prime of x is larger than 0, the slope of the function tends to increase and not the value of the function, the slope of the function. So when we talk about f double prime of x, the slope of the function changes. If it's negative, then the slope of the function tends to decrease. This is related to concavity and convexity, which are two important concepts for economists. And concavity and convexity describes the curvature of the function. A concave function or concavity is when a function is said to be concave if f double prime of x is negative for all values of x. Graphically, what does this look like? So say we have a function f of x. Uh, drew the wrong function. Say we have a function f of x. Graphically, if we pick any pair of points m and n, and we connect these points with a line, a straight line. A function is concave if this line is always below the curve of f of x. So you can see the curve bends down. A function f of x is said to be convex if f double prime of x is positive for all values of x. So a convex function, graphically, if we took two points, m and n, and we connect these points, m and n, with a line, it will always be above the curve. So a convex function, the curve bends upward. So a concave function, the slope tends to decrease. A convex function, the slope tends to increase. Section 9.4 deals with the second order derivative test. So the second order derivative test 
decreases the number of steps we need to take to test whether it's a minimum or maximum. So if the value of the first derivative of a function f at x equal to 0 is f prime x0 equal to 0, that gives us our critical point, remember from the first video. Then f of x0 will be a relative maximum if the second order derivative at x0 is smaller than 0. It will be a relative minimum if the second order derivative at x0 is larger than 0. In the next video, I will do an example.